So continuing our discussion about tempo, Live, in fact, has the ability to analyze the tempo of every single audio file on your drives. So let's take a look at how that's done. I've got my boy Claude Van Stroke here. It's in my iTunes folder. And when I roll the arrow, I get the ability to audition these tracks. And I right away have an audio analysis file there. I'm going to click my headphone icon to audition it. You'll notice right away that I have a little speaker, a little movable speaker. It's my scrub tool. This is new in Live 8. Okay, now I'm going to start my transport and audition it. With my arrow keys, I'm going to select my tempo field and I'm going to hit the up arrow. Okay, so Live is actually slaving and controlling this audio file that's way down on the drives. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, so how do I hear this in its original state? And it's this button here, RAW. If I hit RAW and do the headphones, I'm going to immediately get stuck out here at the beginning and I won't be able to scroll around like I can without RAW selected. Okay, so that's the original RAW tempo. It's about 130 probably. The second I unclick RAW, I'm going to knock it back up to 154. Ready, set, go. And it defaults back to the beginning. The fact is, is that this bit of audio has been analyzed. And here's what that is. I'm going to go to my second Claude Van Stroke disc. And when we look in the finder, we look show in finder and I see my files. When I go to my Claude Van Stroke disc one, I see double my files. I see these ASDs. These are Live's way of analyzing these tempos. So we go down to Cloud Venstroke Disc 2. I'm jockeying around in my set. Say my set's at, one, at 137. I'm running. And now I'm going to audition a track. The second I do, it's going to start blank and then it's going to analyze the waveform. Here we go. There it goes, analyzing. And I can even, while it's analyzing, I can even move around like that. And then when I go down to look in the finder, I see sure enough, there's my analysis file. Okay, so that's how Live analyzes and creates audio. I can also do it this way. If I right click this and say analyze audio, it's going to pick up this Claude Van Stroke at the controls disc two and analyze it. Okay, so now I'm going to have all these analyzed. They're all going to slave to Live's master tempo. Now, in the next session, let's learn how to audition clips. Let's also figure out um, how we can change the tempo within the clip itself.